Did you know that vertical video drives nine times the engagement of horizontal video on mobile? Now that's a big number. As someone who loves my movies horizontal, I was a little bit skeptical, but I am really coming around to the idea of vertical video and I'm going to tell you why. I'm Donna from Socially Sorted and by the end of this video, you'll be excited about the potential of vertical video. I'm gonna show you some tips and tools to get you started. And this is gonna be a little bit meta. It's kind of a video within a video. I know you'll get it. I know you're going to get a lot out of it. And so let's jump into the video. All right, here I am in the awesome tool wave.video. And before I jump in and show you uh, the vertical video side of things, I just wanna highlight a couple of things I love about wave. I love the dashboard being so much based on building blocks. It's very drag and drop. It's very easy to learn and you can flick between your assets and your editing here very easily. And this is what I love. These libraries of video clips and photos and images. There's literally thousands and they are quality. Like I have uh, made a couple of videos like this one down here. We needed some footage from India. This is the footage I've imported you can upload your own but the fact is that when I did searches on specific locations even in India I found great footage so I think the search functionality goes pretty deep and you'll find uh, usually find what you want but on this note you can upload other content if you need it your own videos your specific photos uh, I've sometimes created branded content uh, that I can't necessarily do in wave and brought that in so that's really easy and you can use any tool you like like you know something like PicMonkey or Canva or one that I've been using lately a lot is easel.com where I created these images so e-a-s-i-l.com uh, they have really good uh, uh, I guess fonts and templates so yeah this is really great that you can just mix what you've got and what you've got in wave as well so there's no shortage of content so let's get into the video i also love that you can bring water, um, music into the video you can add your logo uh, and i've started off with this one just being in landscape because i want to show you the magic of a wave so let's take a look this is where it gets a little bit meta this is the video, the start of the video, just pointing out that vertical video drives more engagement and I've used stock footage from Wave. Again, here's another uh, video stock uh, from Wave. And just pointing out that native video works on any platform, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. So of course it makes sense that because we hold our phones vertically. So we need to be considering creating vertical videos because of the way people are natively engaging with vertical video. It doesn't mean that landscape video is going away. I still love movies in that format, but on phones, we need to be creating video that suits that native platform. So this is where the magic happens. You've got your landscape video and you think, huh, Donna, you really should create this as a mobile version. <laughs> you should make this vertical, right? The whole thing's about vertical videos. So let me show you how this works. Up here, we have all of the different sizes for wave. You can see you've got landscape square, mobile, Facebook cover, standard, and Instagram story, which is pretty amazing. So let's see how it works. One click and I've converted to mobile. Uh, one click I could convert to square. Uh, they even have Instagram story. But let's go back to mobile. Uh, let's start with this. Now, Wave is very intuitive and it will take all of the video and sort of seem to place it in a really good position on the new size format. But I do recommend you sort of check each section of your video to make sure that it's okay. So I'm just gonna go down here, have a look and just see if this mobile phone is in a good position. It looks like it is. Uh, then I can go, go over and check these guys and see how they are. All looks pretty good. I just want to make sure the mobile phone's in the in the video and that this this guy on the left isn't blocked out. Here are the images that I imported that I created uh, in Easel before, and then and then this one here. I can see she's probably not doing too bad. That's sort of a roving video with the girl here. But what you can do is if you find that you need to shift these slightly, you can just click on click on the section and then I can move her around. And I might move her to the right a little because she tends to sort of pan across and then I can check it again and make sure it's all all right. And that looks pretty good to me. So we should consider creating vertical videos. So let's take a look at the next part of this video. 
Uh, we'll go meta again. And I just want to show you how you can get started. So these are three easy ways that you can get started with video. I'll play this full video at the end, but we'll just dive in now and take a look. Okay, so I'll leave the sound off, but I uh, just wanted to show you these tips. So the first one is that you can just start taking vertical video with your phone. Some of us are still not used to that. Uh, the second is to share vertical video on Facebook because it actually takes up more real estate on the news feed. And the third is to start creating Instagram stories on your phone. Now the bonus tip is that I've already mentioned this one, use wave.video to convert your videos to mobile, or to Instagram story format. And uh, then you have lots of video that you can post to mobile and it's all in one click. And then I go on to point out that you can get more tips and tools at the blog post that I wrote. And this is a great thing you can do with social video, you know, a short video and then encourage people to click through for more information on your website or wherever you want to take them. So I think you'll agree that it's pretty amazing. I mean, you can start with a landscape video, upload it to YouTube and then create a mobile version that's optimized for Facebook, native to Facebook. Then you can create a square video for Instagram and then even create a version for Instagram stories. Pretty amazing. And again, all of these sizes are pretty much optimized for the format that you're creating the video in. I mean, this one here is an Instagram stories picture and you can see that it works perfectly. So uh, apart from a little bit of tweaking here and there, you should be creating videos in whatever format you want in a simple click of the mouse. So I'm gonna jump in front of the camera again and wrap it up. I hope I've convinced you to create vertical video along with square video and horizontal video and all the videos. I'll add the video that I created to the end of this so you can catch it if you need to. Uh, be sure to check out the blog post and I will look forward to seeing what you create with Wave.